Let's take a look at the Behringer B-Control Fader BCF2000 and let's set up the BCF2000 to control Pro Tools. And in this video, we'll be using Pro Tools 11. So we'll take a quick look over the unit first. You see we have eight faders. We have several buttons here. I have mine labeled for how they'll be used in Pro Tools. We have eight rotary knobs and they also function as a push down. And we also have several buttons up across the top as well. And for Pro Tools, these will be used as your solo and mute. So if we look at the back of the unit, so we have a USB port, which is what we'll be using, MIDI over USB. Then we have our MIDI ports and some expansion ports here, controller switch. And of course, a power port, which we'll also be using. So to set up the BCF2000 to run in Pro Tools, we're going to hook up the USB cable to the back, and then we'll hook up the power cable. Okay, so we have the USB cable and the power cable hooked up in the back. And of course, the USB cable is plugged into our computer. Now, when you first turn on the BCF2000, if you're using Windows 7 or 8, it should automatically load up a driver for you that will work with Pro Tools. If after you get into Pro Tools and set things up, how we're going to do here in a minute, and the automatically loaded driver doesn't work, simply go to the Behringer website and download the correct driver for your operating system and control surface and try out that driver. But what I'm doing, I just plugged the BCF2000 into the computer with the USB cable, turned it on, and that automatically loaded a driver for me. So across the top here are buttons which control the profile we're going to use for our control service. So if I hold on the first button from the left here and then turn it on that will load a profile. If I hold the second or the third that will load a profile say for Mackie control, logic control, stuff like that. But for Pro Tools we want the fifth button from the left of this top row. So one, two, three, four, Five. So in order to load the correct profile, which is baby HUI, is what we'll need for Pro Tools, because Pro Tools will be using an HUI protocol. So we'll hold down the fifth button here. So again, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll power on the unit. You can see the unit there, and you should have saw that baby HUI load up there. And now we can go into Pro Tools and set this up. But we'll do this one more time. We'll turn it back off, and now I'll hold down, say, the second button and we'll read what the profile says. So hold down the second button, power it on, and you see a different profile was loaded there. So we'll turn it back off because we need to load up our baby HUI. Again, one, two, three, four, five. So hold down the button and then power on. And as soon as you see baby HUI, you can release. Baby HUI, and there we go. Now we're good to go. You may have heard that sound of the computer noticing that I've powered on a new USB peripheral. Hopefully you can see these rotary encoders also have lights on them. So now let's start up Pro Tools and set up our BCF2000 to control our Pro Tools mixer. Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools and I'll just open the session I created earlier. You can create you a new session, but I'll open the session I already created, the Behringer B control. And then we'll need to create some tracks. So since we have eight faders, for now I'll just create eight mono audio tracks. So here's our eight tracks and you see I'm not getting any control. So what we'll do, and this is very easy to do, we'll come up here to set up peripherals. There's machine control but we want MIDI control and we'll choose number one so type will be HUI. Remember this is set to baby HUI protocol which you can actually see on the display. So then we'll choose receive from and we'll go to the BCF2000 and send to Again, the BCF2000, and it's eight channels, and we'll click OK. And as soon as we click OK, you saw our faders spring into action. Now, if you look at Pro Tools, I'll move the first fader, and I'm getting control in Pro Tools. I'll move the first rotary encoder, and I'm getting my pan action. If I push down, now I've armed or record enabled that track. Take a look at our transport here. If I hit play, it plays, stop, it stops. I can use fast forward and reverse as well. So maybe I want to mute a track or solo a track and all that's working. You see we have lights on these buttons as well, letting us know their status. So let's create some more tracks. I'll put all these down for now. So we'll create eight more tracks, but this time eight stereo audio tracks but I'll just make it aux tracks just so we have a different color right off the bat so we're still controlling our first eight tracks so here's the first fader and then the eighth fader so what if I want to control these other tracks well we can do that so the way this is set up right now I can just use these buttons here 
and now we have control of the other eight tracks. So here's our first aux and our last aux, which is eight different tracks. Now these aux tracks, as you can see, are stereo tracks. So here's the first track. Now if I go to adjust the panning, you'll notice only the left knob is moving. So in order to change that, I'll hit the store button and that will switch. And now I can control the right knob of my stereo track. Press it again and back to the left knob. And it's really just that easy. So if I want to bank back to my previous eight tracks, I can do that. So now I'm banked right back to all my audio tracks. And I'll record enable the first track, switch over to the edit page, and I'll just press the record button. And there we go. Now we're recording right from our control service. Stop, and then we can play that back. Unarm our track and play back. Pretty cool. And you can set up this BCF2000 to do a lot of other things as well. I'm just showing you the basics of controlling the Pro Tools mixer. Let's just add in some automation to these faders and we'll just watch them fly. So we've drawn in a bunch of automation. We'll just hit play and then we'll watch all these faders come to life. 